video. How are we all doing? Sorry for the lighting. I feel like the lighting in this video will be a bit of a hot mess. I'm using a ring light for the first time in a video. Um, it's my new ring light. I'll link it down below in case you guys want to shop it. I've just realized that one of these is undone, one of these is done off as well. So today is like the one rainy day of the week and it really is super overcast, like really, really overcast. And I wanted to get some filming done today. So please do excuse the lighting if it just looks a bit strange or weird. I haven't really tested it out. How does it look? Let me know down below. Do we like the ring light lighting? I also filmed the cutaways with the ring light lighting as well. But I'm not sure how they've turned out either. So we will see if this video is a hot mess. I do apologize, but I do have some really cute bits from Monkey to show you guys. You guys have already seen my other Monkey videos. They have sent me some items. They have sent me some items in the past. They have sent me these items. But I'm of no obligation to say anything to you guys. All these sorts of opinions are my own. And with that said, I think we should just get into the haul. Okay, so the first item I have to share with you guys is this top here. It's like a little cami top. It's actually quite long, but what I've done is flipped it up like this to make it into a crop top. I'm actually considering cutting it, like actually physically cutting it, so it has like a raw edge, like a raw hem, just because when it's long, it's very long on me. You'll probably see better on the cutaway than here, but like it's very, very long on me and it just doesn't look as nice, but I really, really like it. It's sort of like a little camisole top, like a little vest. Um, with the scoop neck, it's got lace going up the sides here and the most pretty floral pattern. It's also really comfortable, which is why I wanted to keep it on. I'm just wearing it with a pair of denim shorts because it is actually really, really hot today. It's like hot rain. So um, yeah, that's what I'm wearing at the moment. And I do think this outfit is really, really cute. I love it with this top as well. This one is from Zara. It's like the Zara Poplin shirt. And I just wanted to wear it so I could just show you guys what it actually looked like on me. As far as I'm aware, I did get this in a small and it fits really nicely. I'll put the sizes on the screen anyway. Um, and it fits really, really nicely. I would say that it is very stretchy, so you could probably get away with sizing down should you need to. But I'm pretty much a small slash medium in all the monkey sizing. And I'm about a size 10, maybe a 12 on my chest. So that's what that looks like. I really love it. I think it's really cute. And it's also great for layering for the summer. I feel like this, for example, would be a very easy throw on outfit. Um, on a weekend or just chilling around the house and you want to be like comfortable but also looking cute this is the vibe so yeah this is the first item and yeah I really really like it I kind of want it in more colors okay next up I have one dress to share with you guys this is sort of like a crepe material sweetheart neckline black dress you're going to see it better on me than me holding it here because you can't really see the neckline because it is black the pattern is like a floral pink and white pattern which I actually really really like and it has a really high slit like a leg slit it kind of goes like up to the knee because it's like a midi length and it actually fits really nicely I love the length of the slit I think it's really flattering to be honest with you it is slightly big and I did get a size small and again I'm a 10 to 12 if you see my previous videos you'll know that I've had problems with monkey sizing in the past purely because you know, in, in other shops like Zara, I'm pretty much a size medium. And in Monkey, I have to order mostly a small. And even then, they do come up slightly big in a small. And I'm a size 10 to 12. So do keep that in mind. It is a little bit baggy, a little bit big. Not anything bad, to be honest with you, with a dress like this. It just gives you more food baby room, a bit more comfort. It's not actually that bad. The length on it as well, with me being 5 foot 2, is really nice as well. It fits like a maxi or like mid axi which I don't mind, I actually quite like that. All in all, I do really like this dress. I want it in other colours as well. It'd be nice to have it in a lighter colour because this is just a classic throw on for like a little drinky on the weekend, cute sort of dress, maybe a little date, brunchy type dress, that sort of thing. And it's also very comfortable and you do have a lot of like room in it. It's very stretchy, which is nice as well because it's not restrictive. So yeah, whilst I do like this dress, I do think that the sizing is slightly eh. And if you're between sizes, get what you think is your size and get one size down. Next up is a pair of jeans. So I bought these jeans. Oh, is that Mimi? If you hear any rustling, it's just Mimi kind of running about in the background. He's have, he has full rain. Oh, okay. He's just plopped himself down here. He's just chilling. He's just chilling. Okay. So next up I got these jeans. They are the Yoko wide leg. I have 
other pairs of Yoko wide leg. I think I have the blue one and the white ones. They were in my previous videos. I will link my previous monkey hauls down below because they still have a lot of the stuff from those hauls still in stock, especially the jeans. They're really good at keeping the jeans in stock and having the same styles come out in different colors for the different seasons. So yeah, this is this season's one. It's like an acid wash blue and it has these rips. The bottom is also, it's not distressed or anything. It's just plain. I probably will cut about an inch or two off of these to make the hem distressed and to make the length fit me better. But that is the rips on the leg. I got them in a size waist 28, which is my usual monkey size, a waist 28. I do feel like the sizing, again, on monkey, even in the jeans, comes up a little bit big. Usually on ASOS or something like that, I'd go for a 29. In monkey, I always have to get a 28, and a 28 fits perfectly. So again, I feel like the sizing just comes up that much bigger, which isn't the worst thing, to be honest with you. We love getting bigger jeans to fit everything better. I do enjoy it when my jeans fit a little bit looser, just so I have some breathing room. They look a bit more baggy, more casual. So I don't mind that too much, but the 28 fits chef's kiss perfectly. I love them. They're a wide leg and they're made from recycled and organic cotton, which we love to see. So yeah, I absolutely adore the acid wash. I think it would look really cute with again, this pink shirt. I think the acid wash just adds something a little bit different. It's a little bit edgy. You could even swap these shorts for like these jeans, for example. I feel like jeans and a little cami like this will be nice for like the cooler summer days where you just don't fancy wearing shorts or anything like that. And it's just maybe a little bit too chilly for a dress. You could totally go for these jeans. Next up, we have a cohort. So it's actually kind of like a gingham cohort. There's also, I think, shorts and trousers, like colotes, that you can get instead of this skirt. But I'll show you the skirt first. But the pattern is like a pink gingham. I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, it's pink gingham, which I absolutely love. This skirt has an elasticated waist here, which is fantastic. I got it in a size small and again, slightly big very very slightly I could have I could have fit an extra small to be honest with you and again I'm a size 10 to 12 so take that as you will but I do really like it. it like it does still fit it just a little tiny bit baggy but look at that tiered effect so 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 cute I love the material it's like really light linen-y material this is the perfect picnic style outfit like cottage core picnic adorable absolutely love it and so much so that I got the matching top they also have two styles of the matching top, one of which is this, which is the knot front, and another one is like a ruched front. So it's like a full, more modest style, full top with a bit of ruching. But I think the sleeves on that is, are also puffed, if I remember rightly. So I did get this one in a size bigger, which is a medium, and I have to with tops that tie up like this just because of my chest size. But yeah, it fits really nicely. I really love this top. I would wear this top with these shorts. I would wear this top with the jeans. I have tried this top on with short, these shorts and those jeans and the outfits are cute. They're really cute. I think I even wore them in one of the cutaways. I think it was for the jeans, but yeah, I love it. Love this top. I hope they come out with like a yellow gingham or like a green gingham in this top because I think it would be really, really cute. Um, but I would say if you've got a larger chest, do get a size up just so you have more wrapping room. I think last year I got a white one with floral print on and I got it in the small and it, it, it was a little bit too much for me personally, like showing, whereas this being just that little bit bigger, I just have um, more room here, if that makes sense. So it's like a more of a fuller chest coverage, which I really like. The sleeves are puffed. They come with little buttons that match. And just all in all, I think this, this top is just stunning. I love it. I've got one accessory to share with you guys, which is this bag. Um, let me see if I can find my green one. Okay, so you've probably already seen me style this a million and one times on my Instagram and probably on here quite a few times as well. But I liked it so much when I saw that they had like a buttermilk yellow version. I just had to get it because look. So I actually picked up the buttermilk yellow version. That's the comparison. I will say this, the yellow one isn't that yellow. So the green is like cream, right? But the yellow is like a muted yellow. I don't know how to describe it. It's not like a true yellow. But maybe if I put it on, you'll be able to see it like more. But it's definitely a muted yellow. It's not a bright yellow. I kind of was expecting it to be more bright, but it is It is muted. It still looks really cute. Like, I mean, this, the color combo, I do like it. I think it looks very cute. I will get a lot of good wear out of it as well. I just wish it was a little bit brighter, but it did say buttermilk yellow. So I don't know what I was expecting. But in terms of like the actual bag, because I've had, I've had this one for months, 
and I love it. I know I'm gonna love this one. I would recommend, they're also really comfortable on the shoulder. It's definitely a grab and go, and there's a lot of room. So you can wear this with a blazer on, you can wear it with a light jacket on, and it does still fit on your arm. Sometimes I feel like with some bags, they're a little bit too narrow, so when you've got like a larger top on, they won't go on your shoulder. This definitely does, and I mean, I've got two, so <laughs> I do really, really like them. Last but not least is a bikini. I will be inserting photos of a model wearing these items, but I will let you know how I got on with them. So this is the first bit, this is the top. It's got ruching at the sides, which is really cute. You can actually undo these and make them as ruched and as not ruched as you want. But it's in this gorgeous yellow floral print. I got the top in the medium and I got the bottom in a small. And it's basically like a high-waisted brief with again ruching that you can control so you can make these a fuller brief should you wish or you can have it like this which is totally ruched which makes it more of like a half ruching which means it comes a little bit more under your belly button kind of position I guess because it's just so ruched I hope that makes sense because if it's more ruched it's like shorter and if it's less ruched it's like longer so you can make it um, as big or as small as you like which I really like the small fits perfectly and I'm a size 10 to 12 again I do have thick thighs and a big bum and the small fits really nicely again please do keep in mind the mango sizing is generous the top I got in a medium usually a top like this I would get in a large I have a 32 or 30 e cup chest I'm not quite sure anymore so I got a medium I'd usually get a large but the medium fits really nicely again the sizing is slightly generous so I got medium in the top and a small in the bottoms and it does fit really nicely I can't wait to wear these even if it's just in the garden even if it's just a I'm looking outside there now and it's like absolutely tipping it down but I cannot wait to wear these even if it's just in the garden with a book and a gin and tonic so yeah cute okay guys that is everything in today's haul you can just hear Mimi playing with his toys outside, hold on. <laughs> okay, so my favourite piece in the haul was definitely this top, the pink gingham top. I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to wear it. I think it's just going to be the most stunning cottagecore dream with the skirt and then with just like a pair of shorts or jeans. I think it's just going to be the cutest little look to like throw on on the weekend. A pair of shorts like this, that, that top, I just think it's going to look so cute and it's also very comfortable to wear. Um, I just hope they bring out in more colours, maybe an orange gingham, just throwing it out there monkey, an orange gingham would be beautiful. As always, let me know what your favourite piece in the haul was in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!